Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Microsoft has released the latest optional bug fix C release update for Windows 10, which is more or less the same update I posted on when it was still in preview a couple of days ago. And the update rolled out late yesterday in my region on the 24th of June. And for this month, the optional update is KB50610087. And it's just that, it's optional. So you don't have to install the update unless you have this toggle turned on and then it becomes a mandatory update. And I always suggest only install optional updates at the end of the month if you are having any problems with your device, else just ignore the update. Now this is a non-security update that includes quality improvements. And there's a couple of fixes taking place under the hood, but I'm just going to go through a couple that I think may be of benefit and may be of interest. First, Microsoft says that it's fixed an issue affecting component object model functionality on Windows platforms. Remote COM activations were failing with error 0x8001011. And then Microsoft has updated the version of the curl tool. And if you don't know what the curl tool is, it's used in command lines or scripts to transfer data. And the curl tool included in Windows is updated now to version 8.13.0. And that means that Microsoft is bringing better performance and improved security to the curl tool, which is a command line tool. The next fix is an issue was affecting the device registration in Enter ID Windows Account Manager plugin that has been fixed. And there was an issue affecting the complete removal of unused language packs and feature on demand packages with Microsoft saying this issue led to unnecessary storage use and increased Windows update installation time, which is not a good thing. So that's a move in the right direction. They fixed an issue that's affecting USB connected multifunction printers with dual protocol interfaces. And then yes, two important fixes. Microsoft says it's fixed an issue causing jump lists to disappear from the start menu. Now Microsoft did resolve that issue because it was a, a, an official known issue a while back. I did post on this. But now I see they've rolled out an actual fix with this update just to make doubly sure, obviously. So it's nice to see that's been addressed with those jump lists. And then they fixed an issue where the start menu was not starting after installing an update. So those are two important fixes for the start menu. Now here's an interesting fix. If we head to our settings and we head to the system about page, they fixed the version showing version 2009 instead of 22H2. So we can see now that that finally has been fixed. A small niggly issue, but nonetheless important. And while we are on the about page, something I have noticed that isn't officially in the actual change log is that the hardware cards that were found here at the top of the about page have been removed after this update. So there were four cards for your storage, RAM, CPU, and so on, giving you quick details at a glance as I have posted on previously, and I see that those are now gone. I don't know if that's a bug or if that's intentional. If I get any more news, I'll let you know, but just keeping you guys in the loop. And there are two change of behaviors. The first is Microsoft says to maintain DMA compliance in the European economic area. When a new default browser is set, it is automatically pinned to the taskbar and start menu. And the second change of behavior, Microsoft says, associates HTTP and PDF file types when setting default browser. So those are two changes what Microsoft is terming change of behavior. And then the last one just to mention for this video, 
Microsoft says it's fixed an issue where the system may stop responding on resources located on SMB shares. So that's a file server fix. And if you do decide to install the update, if we head to our About Windows menu and dialog, Winver, after the update has been installed, version 22H2, OS build has been bumped up to 19045.6036. And if you haven't installed the update, just a quick reminder, if we head to the calendar, that the features and improvements will be carried over then into the July Patch Tuesday security update that is rolling out on the second Tuesday of next month, which will be the 8th of July. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.